My name's Monty and I'm, uh, I do a bit of farming. Um, I farm bees, uh, we farm vegetables, we grow a bit of livestock. We, we have a neighbour that's um, very extremely hard to get along with. Um, he does a lot of yelling and abuse, and throws stones at us and uh, he cuts our fences and lets all our livestock out in the road constantly. I, I used to take a lot of abuse from him and not say anything. But just now and then it'd get to me and I'd give him a mouthful. The fence was cut down in the back corner one time. I was fixing the fence and I heard a noise behind me. And when I turned around, there he was, behind me, only about four feet away. Then he knocked me on the ground and got on me and pounded my head from side to side. I don't remember two months after that. I lost memory, I lost... I couldn't walk properly. I, I remember trying to walk down the paddock. I don't know how long that was after I was assaulted, probably a year. I remember trying to walk across the paddock and I had to have a walking stick all the time to keep my balance. So we did go through some extremely hard times. See, I, I began with not really trusting God that much. It was him and me. All I had was a pocket New Testament and got to a verse that said to bless your enemies. And to me, when I first read it, I thought, really, God, you want me to do this? You want me to bless this man after what he's done? And so every time he would drive past and hip the horn at me, I'd go, bless you. After a week of doing that, I found I was relaxing because I was hyper-stressed at that point. And now I was relaxing and it wasn't affecting me. Because I'd been reading the Bible and I started following some of the things I found in there, things started to change for me. But after I went to church um, and got to know the Lord, I knew the Lord was with us. When he came to abuse me, I said, I'm going to pray for you. And he said, I'm not going to let you. And I said, you can't stop me. And I said, God bless you. Jesus loves you. And I'm going to pray for you. And that's when I got out of my knees in the middle of the paddock took my hat off, put it on my chest, and I bowed my head and prayed for him then and there. And he took off and come back and abused me a bit more, but then he found that was all I was going to say to him. We prayed for him for about five years, and wherever he seen me in the paddock, if I seen him and he looked at me, I'd take my head off and bow my head and pray for him, and he knew what I was doing. And some, it was some time later that a pastor from a local church rang me up. And then he told me he'd come into the church and wanted to be baptised. He, uh, it surprised me actually, he turned up at my church, where I go. He walked out of church and at that day I was the elder out the front, so we stood at the door with the pastor and shook hands with everybody coming out. And as he come past, I shook his hands and I said, I forgive you for what you did to me, you know. And that's prayer. The most powerful thing there is. The most powerful thing there is.